Have shoulder problems taking the bench press out of your chest building arsenal? I'm going to show you today that it might not have to be the case by giving you two options. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. The bench press, it's one of the classic exercises for building your chest but if you have shoulder problems like a lot of guys do, it could be one of the hardest exercises for you to do. Why is that the case? Well, let me show you first what the problem is with the bench press and how the shoulders can be aggravated with this exercise, but then give you two alternatives that you can use. First and foremost, we've talked about it a lot on this channel, the shoulder being put in a, in a vulnerable position when you're doing a lot of different weight training exercises. A lot of that is because, especially like an upright row, it's because of the position of the shoulder, the internal rotation of the shoulder. And when we internally rotate the shoulder, we don't leave a lot of space inside this shoulder joint for all the things that need to fit in there, okay? All the tendons, all the ligaments, all the, the bones that need to fit in this ball and socket and work optimally. So when we look at the bench press, when we're in this position, it really is not far different than the upright row internal rotation position. There's definitely internal rotation going on at the shoulder. So if we get back down here and do an actual bench press, this position here, just because I'm laying on my back is no different than if I was standing up, it'd still be the same internal rotation position. As we take the bar up and then bring it down, okay, I always tell you guys if you're gonna do this, stop here. Okay, the extra inches that you go to go all the way down to your chest, all that does is tilt your, your scapula for, further forward and drive your shoulder more into internal rotation. Even if you're trying to pinch your shoulder blades together, the weight down here mechanically is going to tilt forward and cause this to go into further internal rotation. So much so that you can actually get an AC joint problem, which on my shoulders here, this bump came from me doing one bench press incorrectly down to my chest and it popped the AC joint. This side, I don't have it. Here, I clearly do. That's going to stay with me forever. And it still bothers me from time to time. So what can we do? We can do what I just said. Stop it a little bit above the chest so that you're not putting those extra couple inches that aren't going to be worth your time, guys. I promise you. Still get the benefits of the exercise, but not have to put the danger at the AC, AC joint. So, Or we can do the reverse grip bench press. Now, how does that change things? Because we're externally rotating. Remember, internal rotation is this and this, right? Internal, external at the shoulder. Internal, external, okay? Same thing. Or internal, external. It's always going on at this bone right in here. So if I twist, internal rotation of this bone. If I open it, external rotation, more space, okay? Same thing here. Internal rotation, external rotation. So more room, we get into this position underhand, we've all of a sudden now created external rotation, way more room inside the shoulder, so those guys that have blocky shoulder joints are gonna find this to be much easier. So we grab it with about uh, index fingers on the smooth part, okay? And we push the bar into the lower part of our palm, okay? You're gonna have your hands almost tilted a little bit over the top of the bar to start, because then when I push it up, they're going to be in neutral. So this wrist will be in neutral, not really bent back here, so you're going to be causing wrist damage or anything like that. So more of a neutral grip. So again, over the top, and then we lift up, and then from here, again, neutral grip going on at the wrist. I'm going to let my elbows dip down into my sides. I can go a little lower here because I have that extra room, and then I squeeze up. Okay? down to the sides, and then squeeze up. A lot of guys like this variation because they get a better squeeze on their chest. Down, and squeeze. Down, and squeeze. And again, no pain in the shoulders, especially for guys that are used to having it. So the bench press doesn't have to leave your routine completely if you have bad shoulders. You just have to approach your exercise a little bit different. And that's why I say here, guys, I can't ever uh, disentwine my physical therapy background 
with what it is that I show you guys here. I know I've been starting to do a lot more of these PT type videos because you guys have been asking for them. But in Athlete X, what we try to do in our system is basically, you know, push all these ideas through to your everyday training so that you are training smarter. I always want you to train harder, but you're training smarter at the same time so you can continue to get results for many, many months and years to come as opposed to doing something incorrectly and being laid up like I was when I screwed up my shoulder a long time ago. If you guys like this or if you try the reverse grip, uh, leave your comments below. Let me know. And of course, let me know what you want to see because I'm getting a lot of my ideas based on your questions and your feedback. I'll see you guys over at athletenext.com. In the meantime, I'll be back here in just a couple days with another video.